How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you in person here. Yeah. Uh, would Would you look back on a boat a, a year like if you look back to September 2021 or even August 2021? You know how much better do you feel this year? And do you kind of like, oh man, how did I, I really had to dig to get through all that? Yeah. You know, I feel a lot better this year. Obviously, it was a long road and. I know at times it felt like it wasn't going to end, but I'm just really happy that I'm healthy and able to participate in campus here. Yeah, I mean, you're part of the, I, I don't know, you guys don't label it this way, but that COVID draft class, yeah. <laughs> you know, you got pushed back to 2020 and all that kind of stuff. Uh, how much of a sort of relief or just joy is it, you know, you get to gather with these guys, you got the Penticton tournament back. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's going to be a great experience. I'm really excited, uh, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, COVID, I guess, is kind of a, Hard time for all of us, just, I don't know, changing our lives a little bit, but yeah, I'm really excited. So where are you at now in terms of your development and such? I know that it's been stunted along the way and, and I'm assuming now that you're sort of primed and ready to go. Yeah, no, I feel, I'm feeling really good. Um, obviously the risk there is kind of a hard injury to overcome, but right now it's a lot better. Like, I don't even have to tape it to go on the ice. I can shoot, um, I can pass, I can do everything I did before. So I'm feeling really good and feeling good on the ice. How do you envision your year going? What do you, where do you see yourself this season playing? Are you sort of in, in line with the, everybody's expectations that you're going to be a, a full-time owner? Yeah, I think so. That's my goal for sure is to make the Oilers this year and uh, be with them the whole year. Dylan, uh, take us through the experience about being around the team during the playoffs. I know you drew in the last game, but just overall being around the team, seeing what it takes on a day-to-day -day basis, how much did that help you? Yeah, it was awesome. It was an incredible experience. Um, boys went on a crazy playoff run there, so it was, it was cool to be a part of, even though I wasn't really playing. Um, just being at the rink every day, kind of like watching the guys, how they act, how they're taking care of their bodies, that kind of thing. So it was definitely really cool to be a part of, and then to get in that last game was kind of a little cookie on top. Um, I wish we would have won that game, but it was overall just a great experience. Uh, you look like you put on some size, some muscle. Uh, what did the off season look like for you? Yeah, no, I, I think I had a big off season. Um, I didn't really gain too much weight per se, but I think I got a lot stronger and faster. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Why number 55? Um, that's actually a good question. Well, I, I like low numbers, but all the low numbers are retired pretty much. So, um, and then I like repeating numbers too. I, I kind of like that. And um, 55, I felt was just a pretty safe, uh, cool number. So I just picked that one. Is there any significance behind it, like in terms of family member or something like that? or uh, Not really. Too okay. And I, Thank you. Just with a couple of buddies and I was like, I don't know. Love it. Yeah. Dylan, are you entering this camp with uh, any like particular mindset of what you need to do uh, to make this team? Like, is there something that you feel like I need to do this or this to make this team? I think the biggest thing is just to play my game. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to go out there and try and be a different player than I am. I think they know what kind of player I am, so i got to just play to the best of my ability. Um, and, yeah, just literally play my game, play fast, play hard, and uh, try and get some, get some goals and try and generate some offense too. How much of the year of being like a professional hockey player, not just like the on-ice st stuff, but like off-ice stuff, how much does that help you going into this year, just kind of just everything that comes with being a professional athlete? Yeah, I know. I think it's huge. Um, I'm really happy I got that experience in Bakersfield last year. Uh, coming, coming from college, it's definitely way different. It's a different lifestyle. College, you only play two games a week. In pro, you play three or four. Um, so I think the big thing is just like to, like every game like you got to get up for, but also taking care of your body is a big thing. Dylan, how much does it help uh, getting into game action during rookie camp and kind of getting the season started early with some game action? Yeah, no, it's huge. I'm, I'm really excited for it. It should be a fun tournament in Penticton. Um, like you said, getting in games before is, is kind of a little... Uh, what is it? I'm sorry, what word am I looking for? Uh, it's just like, I don't know, it's just good. It's kind of a little uh, little boost going into camp. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. Dylan, just so we have our facts straight, can, I just want to ask you about the hand injury and maybe you can take us through the timeline. You, you, you heard it at the Final Four, right? Is that where you heard it? or uh, I heard it in the Big Ten Championship. So I heard it um, the game before our Big Ten Final. Um, and then I, like, it was, it was like, really painful for that Big Ten game, but... I uh, played through it, and then I ended up getting surgery right after, and then played the one game for the NCAA playoffs. And how frustrating was it that you had the surgery? Once you get the surgery, you think, okay, now the road to recovery, and then they said, you got to go through it all over again. Yeah, no, it was definitely really disappointing to hear. Um, to be honest, like when it first happened, I thought it was a very minor, like a very minor thing. Um, I actually had a teammate who had like a hand surgery prior, and he was surgery one day, practicing the next day, so. Uh, his is like really minor and I kind of thought mine was like along the same lines. So 
um, I don't know. So like hear, hearing that I had to do the surgery all over again after a whole summer of trying to rehab it was kind of, was very disappointing. But I'm just thankful that it's uh, it's good to go now. Is this one of those uh, adversity makes you stronger type things? Being able to go through that and you know now now just be working past it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it makes you thankful for for sure, just to be healthy and to be able to play. I know uh, when I wasn't playing there and just kind of even when I was on the ice, I wasn't even touching pucks. I was just skating around it. It was definitely very hard. So I'm just kind of thankful now that I'm healthy and ready to go. And you look at this roster now, and there is a spot for a young guy on that roster. Maybe be three or four guys that are trying to grab it. How do you see going through this rookie camp and main camp and, and trying to get that spot and solidify yourself as an NHL? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, like I said earlier, I think the big thing is just for me to play my game. Uh, I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not, and uh, just play hard and play fast. Dylan, a question I've been asking just about everybody who gets on the podium is, is there a conversation or uh, something that really stood out to you in the last year, whether it was during the playoff run or rubbing shoulders with a guy like Connor or Leon, that really stands out to you so far in your Oilers career that you can kind of take with you heading into this camp? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a conversation, but just being around like Connor and Leon during the playoffs, you, you realize like no matter how their body's feeling, how tired they are, they always bring it for every game. Um, I think that's honestly like a really big lesson because there, there is some games where you're tired or a little banged up, but they bring it every every single night, and uh, I think that's definitely something to pick up from. And What's the just the excitement level of you know not just being in the NHL one day, but maybe being on Leon's line or Connor's line or something at that level? Yeah, I mean it's it's crazy to think about. I remember uh, kind of a few years ago, like growing up watching Connor and Leon light up the NHL. So the fact that I'm potentially in the same organization as them is pretty crazy, and then. If I was to ever play on the same line, that would be kind of a dream come true too. What did you see from yourself in Bakersfield that leads you to believe that you're going to be able to make this transition? Yeah, I mean, I feel like every every step you take is kind of a kind of a jump. Like NCAA to AHL play is definitely a big jump in like pace and everything. And then same thing for the AHL to the NHL. Um, but I was getting really really confident in my ability at the end of the year there. Um, my wrist is feeling good. I was feeling like I can make plays, generate offense, and then I'm um, just hoping that translates to the NHL level. Hey Dylan, sorry I had to step out. So I apologize if I'm done. Oh, try to be scaled back here. I just wonder what your summer was like this summer compared to last summer when you were kind of navigating that injury. Were, you know, how did it? Do you felt like you're kind of back to back to full health and back to doing everything that you? you yeah. No. Uh, last summer there was a lot of stuff I wasn't able to do, like upper body wise, even in the gym, and then on the ice I wasn't really able to shoot or I was told not to handle a puck, but it's hard not to when you're on the ice. But um, this summer I was pretty much able to do everything. Um, felt good. Um, even in Bakersfield, I was having to tape my wrist just to like, go on the ice and shoot and stuff. But this summer, I was able to not tape it, and it still felt, felt pretty good on the ice. So, um, yeah, I definitely had a better summer this year. You feel like you're back to full range, yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, did, did this summer kind of give you that, like you last summer, by the end, by this time last year, we were told you are having surgery. And, yeah. and Did this kind of give you kind of a you can rebirth or what have you? Are you feeling kind of re reinvigorated in a way? Yeah, I know. It definitely makes you feel way better. Like I said earlier, it makes you just thankful to be healthy and be able to participate in camp. Um, it's kind of, you never really know how good it is until you don't have it, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, just really happy to be here. And last one, why the number change? Is there any significance to it? Um, honestly, not really. Um, I like low numbers a lot, but pretty much all the low numbers here are retired. So, um, I also like repeating numbers. So I figured 55 is just like a safe, good number, but yeah. Didn't, didn't consider, I know you had four and 44, never really? Uh, no, I like that number a lot, but uh, I know it was Zach Cassing's number and he was, he was really, really good to me last year and a uh, great, great veteran presence in the room. So I didn't really want to take his number.